What's going on everybody and welcome to the Florida Mall. We are about to go into Primark. This place opened up a little while ago now and it was packed. The hype has died down a little bit so we're gonna go in and check it out. And supposedly there's a whole section of Disney merchandise. Once we're done with Primark, I figure we can hit up a couple more spots in the mall and see what kind of Disney stuff we can find outside of the Disney bubble. We're not too far from Disney World, but if you're on vacation and you don't have your own vehicle, it's gonna be a little bit of a mission to get here. So. Let's go check out Primark. I've never been in a Primark or seen the inside of a Primark. I guess these are coming over here from Europe now. Interesting. So if you're watching from overseas, you're probably familiar with these stores. Let us know in the comments if um, it's any different than your hometown Primark. All right. Okay, it looks like we have to go. Oh, there's a second floor. All right, so we're gonna go up to the second floor. Disney Primark. This place is huge. I'm seeing a lot of stuff for everybody. Sports teams, pop culture, just regular, you know, fashion. Very large department store. I guess it's got good prices too. We'll see. Oh, I see socks. I'm going up. This is what we came for. All right, let's see what we can find right at the top of the escalator this is the first thing i'm seeing pretty nice mickey mouse hooded sweater and you guys aren't gonna believe this 16 dollars. this would be like 60 dollars at the parks they also have this little bag right here 12 dollars. all right we might be in for some deals there's a whole stitch collection over here same style of hooded sweatshirt with Stitch. Again, $16. And this bag is only $24. Look at the size of this. Got a wall of kind of like Mickey products over here. This long sleeve sweater is $20. Pretty cool. The shoes are only $20 as well. So it says Mickey Mouse on the sides. You got a little hidden Mickey right here. Here's a hooded kind of thin sweater. Oh, it's not too thin. Again, $20. T-shirt right here is only $6. I think this is a women's cut. More of the shoes and the sweater again. So I was drawn over to this corner by the Spider-Man Marvel stuff. This is all children's stuff on this side of the store. So if you're shopping for young ones, there's a ton. Oh, there's a whole, whole big pile of Stitch shirts over here for $8. <laughs> they have a whole bunch of luggage. I guess you would consider this cabin sized. The Minnie Mouse one here is $40. The Nightmare Before Christmas one is $50. And they're all hard on the outside. <laughs> and then over here you have two more. These ones are $60. I do like this one. This one's pretty cool. I'm liking this Lion King jumper set. There's a hood on the top, right? Yes, there's a hood on the top. The top is 16 and the pants that match are 14. So $30 for a whole outfit. Not bad. Super soft too. If a Mushu sweater, you don't see a lot of merch with Mushu on it around the parks. What is this, 16? That seems to be the going price. Yep, 16 bucks. Pretty decent size, like purse or duffel. I don't know what you would consider this. Pretty big though, $27. It feels nice, like it feels quality. I'm not sure what it's actually made of, but. Got this nice photo op right over here on the side. Welcome to Florida, Mickey and friends. Found some assorted cups and stuff like that. You got Lotso. Oh, that's fun. How much? Twelve dollars. Got Angel up here. Ten dollars. Stitch. Let's groove. How much are you, Stitch? 
No price on the stitch one. Let me grab another one. Huh, I would assume in the $10 range. Oh, they have a stitch little bubble one too. 12 bucks. We have a Mrs. Potts teapot. She's $17. And we got some water bottles down here. James P. Sullivan. $11, not bad. I'm not familiar with this particular designer, but they do have some of his stuff in here. Pretty unique. His name is Keith something. Keith, I can't read that. They have this sweater. We have a black sweater down here too. Oh, Keith Herring, okay. And these are both $20 for the sweaters, or they have t-shirts for $14. Keith Herring, huh? That's kind of cool. Found some more Keith Herring. You can get the matching sweatpants. These are $18. They have a Letterman style jacket too. This is the only thing without a price on it. I've already looked at Oh, that's kind of cool. I was looking for a price on it, but none of them are marked. Another sweater. This one's just white and plain on the front, but it is a hoodie. Got the pockets in the front. I love the classic Mickey. And then on the back, you have this huge Keith Haring design. Got a, just a straight up Keith Haring t-shirt. Are you guys familiar with Keith Haring? Never heard of him. I'm not big into fashion though either. I'm pretty simple. Oh, we got a stitch jumper set right behind me. You got your matching pants. $20 for the top. And $18 for the pants. They definitely have a ton of Lilo and Stitch, mainly Stitch. A little bit of Lilo. I've only seen Lilo on this bag, honestly. But here's a nice little Lilo and Stitch bag since 2002. 19 bucks. But there is a lot of Stitch merch in here. Oh, look at him. Very demure. How much? Oh, $14. You got some Stitch slides over here. $12. Or you got Stitch and Angel shoes. 20 bucks. Kind of look like Nikes. Are they Nikes? No, no way. No. Found a few more sweaters. Got Mulan. And the horse. What's the horse's name? Can't remember. These are all $20 though. You can get Bambi. I do like this one. This green one is Lady and the Tramp. Adorable. Found a couple more sweaters for $14. It's got a mini. I do like the lettering on there. And they have a Marie. Kind of see her face better right there. Only have larges left right now. $14. I'm not going to lie. I am like slightly disappointed. I mean, there's a lot of stuff up here and I think it just depends on you and what you're looking for. Or especially if you have kids, there's a ton of stuff and the prices are good. It's just not what I thought it was gonna have. Not really for me. I'm gonna go back downstairs and see if there's anything else like around the store. But so far, I did like a couple sweaters, but mm, not really worth the mission to get here. That's just my opinion though. Yeah, so all the Disney stuff is going to be upstairs. They do have other pop culture stuff, though, scattered around the store. You got Simpsons, One Piece, Rick and Morty. M Morty! Some Joker stuff. So they do try to keep current. What's that? Oh. A decision was made. The Keith Herring. Oh, the shirt too. Okay, my honest opinion, kind of overhyped and not really worth it. Just for me, for what I'm looking for, I was hoping to find like a cool 
unique t-shirt or something. Now, it just depends on you. If that kind of stuff appeals to you, go for it. Like I said, some of the sweaters were really cool. Or if you have kids, there is a ton of stuff in there. Pajamas, shirts, water bottles, plushies, all kinds of stuff. But for me, I was looking for something a little bit more unique. I love Uniqlo at Disney Springs. That's probably my favorite place to get um, like t-shirts. Like I got this from Uniqlo. They're a little bit more unique and it's not the same reproduced stuff that you see all over the place. But again, Primark, killer prices in there. So it's really subjective, it's up to you. It's just not my cup of tea. So I'm gonna walk around the Florida mall now and see what other kind of Disney merchandise we can find. Let's go. So there is an H&M right here too. This is a couple steps from Primark. I will say, this mall is popping. Everything's open. There's a lot of people here. Most malls are on the verge of dying out. The mall in our hometown, very sad story over there, but it's very lively here. Florida Mall. There is a store here, Gotcha, dedicated to claw machines. There's two rows of them. There's some merch and stuff in there too, but they have a row of claw machines. How about that? Oh, hello, little guy. This is outside of a little kind of candy store called Mini Mart. A couple plushes and stuff. I'm window shopping. Their ties, $15.99. The smalls are $8.99. They have a box lunch. That's my kind of store. Let's go in here. Ah, uh, yes, more Stitch merchandise. Fancy seeing you here, bud. It's a cute little lounge fly. Like this Evil Queen one, too. Oh, I got a mini. Black and white mini. That's kind of cool. $84.90. Ouch. Oh, Mulan. Maleficent. And Aurora, too. I like that the zipper has a little spinning wheel. This one's $74.90. Anything on the back? Nope. Look at this Winnie the Pooh lamp. That's awesome. You need a USB to plug it in though. How much is that? I'm not seeing a price out there. It is $49.90. Got some other Winnie the Pooh stuff. Got this nice cozy sweater. I have an Eeyore sweater too. There's a Mickey lamp up there too, but I really like this. It's a map of Neverland. Well, that's pretty cool. Can't get a price on it, it's way up there. There's a Princess and the Frog lounge, lounge fly up here. Are these those little guys from um, Alice in Wonderland? I think they are. Whoops. Oh, that's a cool shirt. A little Christmas nook over here. Gingerbread stitch. $79.90. I do like this kind of vintage -y sweater. This is $44.90. We got Eeyore over here. $59.90. Eeyore, you're expensive, dude. The crock pot I never knew that I needed. They should have made high, like, dark side. I don't collect a lot of things, but Funko Pops are definitely a weakness. I love Funko. And they have the Jungle Book line. I really want this Bagheera. They're $13. I'm just trying really hard not to spend money right now. They have Hottie Jr. too. Disguised Evil Queen.
Winnie and Piglet. Oh, I do like just kind of simple Iron Man. Yeah, this line is like the first of the Avengers. No way. There's a Uniqlo in here. That's perfect. I was honestly thinking about going to Disney Springs. I don't know if they'll have the Disney collection in here, though. That might be exclusive for Disney Springs. I'm going to pop in see what they got. Found a couple sweaters. Mickey and Pluto. Anything on the back? Nope. I do like this one. It's very simple. Star Wars, but the back. Do or do not. There is no try. And Marvel. Oh. Team up, save the world, repeat, bet. Uh, the sweaters are $39.90, so Primark does have them on the pricing, but this is more my style. All Uniqlo had, for Disney stuff anyway, were those sweaters that I found. So if you want t-shirts, if you've never seen it at Disney Springs, they have Uniqlo. And the whole bottom like corner of that store, there's tables beyond tables of Disney shirts. That's where I got this one, like I said earlier. Um, quick story time. This mall is pretty cool, but you know when you're walking through and they have the kiosks in the middle and it's usually someone trying to sell you something like a shoe cleaner, uh, perfume, makeup, stuff like that. The salespeople in here are aggressive. Like, um, I walked by a lady, she, she was trying to hand me a, a card, like a perfume to like smell it. And I was like, no, thank you. I'm not exaggerating. She kept going, please, 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 please. Like she's a good like 10 feet behind me. It's like, and then on the way out, another lady's like, hola. I'm like, hey, and she's like, hola, 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 hola. I don't know where I'm going next. <laughs> All that talk about Uniqlo at Disney Springs, I figured I'd pop on over here real quick. It's not too far from the Florida Mall, so it's about a 15 minute ride. If you've never been to Uniqlo, it's right behind me. It's right across from World of Disney. So let's go in here and have a little, little style battle. Primark versus Uniqlo. Got my umbrella. Hurricane's on its way. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. So as you can see, there are tables and tables. Now, sometimes the shirts will repeat, but let's check it out. Let's go over to the wall and see what's new. I'm kind of liking this Mickey one. What is he? What is he supposed to be? Like bubbles? That's kind of cool. This one kind of looks like a stained glass window. Loving the purple. You got a blue, is he, is he spinning? Is he tired? What's the story with this? Now, like I was saying earlier, the prices here are great. So these are going for $24.90. A little ice cream mick. Good shade of green too. Another artsy one. This one's pretty cool. I wish this one was black or any other color. I don't like white shirts. You got a little sky Mickey. Reminds me of the sky anyway. And you got kind of like an out of focus Mickey. That's kind of cool. That's different. So on the table, it's a lot of the same shirt. It's basically all the same shirts that were hanging up, but I didn't see this one over there. Something different. I didn't see this one over there either. And if you're shopping for kids, they have a lot of the same designs, except they are $14.90. If you walk out of this room, you'll find one more big table over here with different designs. I like the Monsters one. Pocket tee, a little Monsters Inc. symbol. Death Star. Is that the back? Oh, it is. Let's hold this back up. Monstropolis Most Wanted. That's kind of cool. And we got a Spider-Man. Spider-Man Special. 
Looks like there's something on the back too. No, there's nothing on the back. It was the next shirt. I'm trying to pull these back up with one hand. Oh, this one's pretty sick. Also, I want to add that these shirts hold up. The designs don't wash off, like, period. I've had shirts from here for, like, four years. They still look pretty new. I'm liking the comic-style Hulk. Oh, Ghost Rider. I don't want to mess any up. I'm not going to unfold them. If they're already unfolded, then I'll show you, but... There's another Mickey over here. But the shirts are, they're quality, they're thick, they're a little, uh, I don't know, they look a little wide when you pick them up. They fit me good, so maybe I'm wide. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And then I think they just repeat. I didn't see the Star Wars ones, though. What do we got? I actually really like this. It's simple. Straight to the point. Star Wars. And all these shirts on the table are twenty four ninety. I do like that. Now, besides the tables, look at this. Harry Baby, Harry Baby. You got a Mickey and Minnie. Anything on the back? Yes, you do have Mickey and Minnie. That's kind of cool. Alice. That's a good shade of blue. I would sweat right through this, though. Oh, I really like this one. Not too many 101 Dalmatians shirts around Disney property. This is really cool. $24.90. Tempting. We got some sweaters. You got Mickey Mouse. The sweaters are going to cost you one moment. $39.90. So something Primark did have were cheaper sweaters. Christopher Robin, Pooh and Tigger doing a little march. Minnie living her best life. Now I don't see the designs that the Uniqlo in the mall had. Interesting. They have these socks. These are $6 a pair. You got Groot. These are, they match that sweater we did see at the mall. It says do or do not, but they put Yoda on the bottom of the foot. Not sure about the placement of that, so that's interesting. You got Buzz. It says so long, partner. You got some kid shirts. So long, partner. I like how this looks like drawn, you know what I mean? In my element, also. Elemental was awesome, highly underrated. Here's that Mickey and Minnie design. Hello, I am Baymax. A couple more sweaters. We got Pooh, looks like he's thinking. Kind of looks upset. I guess this is their thing right now. That's so long, partner. And there's a Mickey and Pluto one, too. Wasn't this at um, the one in the mall? I think it was. I don't see that Yoda one, though. Oh, Angry Donald. Hey, pal. Classic. Okay, little guardians. Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. Oh, I really like this. Do or do not. There is no try. Iconic scene. Star Wars on the back. Aha, here they are. These are the sweaters we saw at the mall. 
I really like this one. Hopefully this is here. We'll be back in a little over a month for our honeymoon, so then it'll be time to spend. But right now it's time to save. But moving on, they do have plenty of other shirts and designs and stuff. Different pop culture. Got a little peanuts over here. And you are able to design your own shirt right over here. You go on the little iPads over there, pick your designs, where you want them on the shirt, and they'll print it right here. That's interesting. It says peel here. I don't think you can... Oh, get it? Peel... Oh, my. I should have I should have known. Found some bags over here. Pooh, desperate to get the last bit of honey. Elsa. Waiting for a friend. Let's see if we can get a price on these. $29.90. There's a Winnie the Pooh line over here. $24.90. I don't want to mess them up, so I'll just show you what I can. A little bit different of a style. Christopher Robin's got on this one too. I'm not sure what they're doing. Don't want to mess up the display. Oh, we got some comic cover shirts over here. Oh, look at this Alice one. That's that's cool. That's neat. Let me stop saying that everything's cool. How much are these? Twenty-four ninety. Every once in a while, you can find a shirt around the store for like $14, too. I like the Venom. What do you think? Primark or Uniqlo? I'm Team Uniqlo. Strictly off of the shirts, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go in World of Disney real quick and see if they're uh, rolling out any of the Christmas stuff. You never know, right? Other stores are doing it. I've not been in here in a while. Usually they have all the seasonal stuff right off of this door when you walk in on the side, but now it is a plushy central. I like the double-decker bus. It's happening. They're rolling out the Christmas stuff. Look at this snowman lounge fly. How much? $99 right on the nose. And of course, you can't have a lounge fly without the matching ears, right? <laughs> $34.99. I'm loving the holiday shirt. Yes, lovely shade of green. These are kind of on sale. If there's two of you, they're $25 each when you buy two. Or they're $29.99 for one. I am loving this, though. Essential to any Disney family's Christmas tree. Your Disney Christmas train. Ours is a bit different, I think. I think this is newer. This is going for $149. Very festive lounge fly. I like it. This one's $79. Red straps. I thought it was like candy cane straps at first, but that's just paper on there. That would have been a good idea. Two little candy canes. Oh, get out of here. Christmas Crocs with the fuzz. With the fur. $79.99. You get some, uh, what do you call these? Giblets? Tiblets? Tidbits? Whatever these are that you stick in them. There we go. Never been a fan of Crocs. A little countdown over here. $15.99. I see a spirit jersey. Good shade of green. $84.99. Let's see the back. Oh, gold. They have a Christmas spider bot, $29.99, which I'm pretty sure this is based off of the Spider-Man ride out in California, so that's interesting to see it over here. I don't know what it does. There's not like a try me on it. 
light up eyes, and I guess it moves. A little spider bot crawling around at Christmas time. Magical. These stockings are awesome. They have a Mickey and a Minnie. Pretty decent size too. $34.99. Really like those. You got Mickey hanging onto this little Disney key. A little snow globe on the end. That's cool. This is $24.99. And a Christmas countdown. Let's go. Christmas is my favorite. $59.99. It's festive. I like it. I had a, I, you know, I just had a hunch there would be some Christmas stuff. I think that's pretty much all of it for right now. Still a ton of Halloween stuff out. I mean, we're not even close to Halloween yet. But the Christmas stuff, if you're looking for it, is right across. They do have a ton of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff out. And let's just settle this, you guys. Nightmare Before Christmas is a Christmas movie. I will die on this hill. Got a Jack Santa hat. Trucker hat. Simple. Little backpack. Is that a lounge fly? It is not. Oh, this is nice. Love the color. Oh, look at this. This one is $34.99. That's a little pricey for a t-shirt. And $59.99 for this long sleeve. Kind of like a sweater. Kind of thin, though. Santa Claus? Santa is $34.99. You look petrified, my guy. A mummy. <laughs> is this a mummy? Ah. A little zero over here for $24.99. Bark, bark. Santa, Jack Skellington. Sally. Or just your regular Jack Skellington in his little suit. These are all $26.99. I like the Santa one. It'd be a good Christmas decoration, don't you think? And that's going to do it for our little shopping day. Hope you guys had fun going to a couple different stores with me. Didn't think we are going to end up at Disney Springs. Let me know in the comment section, where's your favorite store to get some Disney stuff at? Whether it's t-shirts, memorabilia, keychains, lounge fly, who knows? They got Christmas stuff up. It's the beginning of October. Anyway, I got to get home. Tomorrow is the first day of Hurricane Milton. So, of course, I hope everybody stays safe. We're all good. We got food. We got gas for the grill. Cars are going in the garage. Let's ride this thing out. Hopefully next week we'll get some better weather. And I can do a little, another Disney challenge video. I'll see you real soon. And if your dreams don't come true, make them. <laughs>